Let's go to Harbor Freight so we can pick up our test light. So we're back from Harbor Freight and now we got our incandescent test light. Let's go ahead and test it so we know how much current this bad boy is gonna draw, put a label on it, and get it ready for use inside the shop. Let's set it up. So the way I normally set up mine is I use my bench power supply and I'll set it to 12.6 volts. And then what I'll do is I will connect my test light to ground and then to power. Once I do so, then you can see that I'm getting a measurement of 221 milliamps. So now I know that this test light is gonna draw 221 milliamps. I'll get a sticker made and I'll make a sticker using my P-Touch labeler now it's ready to go into our diac carts inside the shop. What if you don't have a fancy power supply like this? Let's pretend this is a battery. So I'm gonna take my test light and go straight to the ground side of the battery. I'm gonna take my positive side to my meter that's in amps. And then I'm gonna take my com lead and touch it to my incandescent bulb. And as you guys can see, my meter shows 220 milliamps just like we were seeing directly on my power supply. I went ahead and made a label, adhered it to my test light. This test light is now ready to go into the diac cart and we can use this to substitute loads and also test circuits with 221 milliamps of current draw. Make sure before you guys screw some shit up, you guys know exactly how much current the circuit you're about to load test can actually handle. I don't wanna see in the comments, now you just made a bunch of people blow modules. No, make sure you guys understand what you're doing before you use this tool to substitute a load. See you guys on the next one.